Hi and welcome to Odyssey Ascension. It's Wednesday's channeling. Thank you all for tuning in. Forgive my nails. Forgive my looks. I've been out in the country, house sitting, and getting back up here an hour drive, about 45 minutes. Right? And having to tackle some dogs. Yeah, and we have to, yeah, we have to <laughs> rotate these dogs and there's this one dog who just takes his time about getting back into this pen. They're outside dogs. So we're chasing them and we're having fun. And then we had to get up here and go back down. So it's been quite a busy week. And this is a new apartment. I know you can't see it, but it is. We've moved over the weekend too. So been quite busy. So I didn't have time to do my nails. And they are a train wreck. My partners. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's get going. Greetings once again to the Collective Osiphius here. We bid you all a good day. We'll give you an idea of a speaker, that of Aragon. You are familiar with him. Mm -hmm. Heard him? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever Aragon chooses to be in the moment, as you do, truly. Mm -hmm. Understand that. This body does not define your gender. Your idea of vibration, masculine or feminine, is always in the present of the moment that you choose to be that. Let go of those boundaries and watch yourself excel into an unknown world. Stand by for Aragon. Got a little bit of water. No coffee today, though. Mm. Roxy already drank a cup of that tuxedo from Starbucks. <laughs> I tuned in and enjoyed it. It was so good. Oh, my God. White chocolate and dark chocolate blending together. Let's talk about the mirror. Ah, the mirror. Now, there is a law, law for the universe. What you put out is what you get back. Hmm? And you understand yourself in a bubble. Yes. What happens after polarity? What happens after the fractal is no longer the fractal, and the fractal becomes the whole. Let me preface this with an idea. Okay, I'm a god. God! Hello, everyone. I'm a god. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then I create an idea of a set of eyes that are burst from me. And those eyes literally listen, class, trust, allow, no thinking here, turns back on itself and looks at creation looks at creation. If it turns back on itself and it's looking at creation, it's looking at you. This is why we taught you through this idea conduit to accept reality is as you because it is you. Literally, always you. You live in a bubble, birthed, and you have sets of eyes with a bubble that surround you. And all that bubble, and no matter what direction you look, is a reflection of you. You've created a bubble for you to get experience. I am literally looking at me. Hello, me. Hi, how are you? So you're looking at God, creation, you, in the form of whatever it is that you interpret through vibration. The entities that you call people. The car that you drive. All of these things are literally birthed from you. Go ahead. She's going to add some more light, it seems. We're still adjusting to the apartment. So it's literally birthed from you. So it must be you. And it is not the physicality. It is not the bottle of water. It is not that. It's what you define that to be, okay? The original idea of this water is undistorted, bending creation, unbent creation. You bend it, vibrate it. The only way you get reflection is vibration. You vibrate as a whole being. The fractal's looking at the vibration, interpreting as it understands creation to be from a point of an empty sponge. 
you knew nothing. Amnesic gods. Coveting, 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 coveting. Filter, 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 filter. Reality is, reality is, reality is. And whenever you didn't like about what you are, you are, nobody else, you are looking at yourself, fractal down here, looking at you. Whatever you didn't like, you maintained separation. And you continue to do so as you choose. Reality is into reality, uh-uh, is not. I don't like that. I'm separate from that, okay? Once again, we review this idea. You accept all reality doesn't mean you need to jump on board with it and become it. You can say, no, uh, I'm not going to play in your garden. Bye-bye. Yes, you can do that. That's not rejecting. That's not separating. You're just accepting it and not choosing to participate in that world that vibration, that understanding as a choice. Once again, we have talked. Everything has already been chosen by who? You, nobody else. And then you get to choose how you feel about the choices you've already made in the realities that you are shifting to constantly. Okay? So you're the mirror, literally the whole self, surrounding you, the fractal, popping out of in the middle of the bubble and looking around going, look at, wow. Look at my experience. I am alive. I am understanding. I am existing. I am a, a God. Yes. Okay. So now that these eyes realize that this idea that it's been looking at is this. The whole. All of it is. That's what you are. So what happens when you become the eyes of the whole again? Is there a mirror? Well, no, not in the sense that you think it is, because there's no time, one aspect, because it takes time for the reflection to come back to you that's already been chosen. You notice things in time. The now has no time. The now is sequential taneous, but the now has all the time in the world. It is forever. In this now, you're viewing on this now. So in the last few minutes you're watching this video, you think you've been here focused in this now. And you have been in time. But you, the whole, has been in the same experiential idea of time with no time in a billion other multidimensional idea selves that you are. See, you are choosing all the nows that you choose to understand and receiving them equal to how you're receiving this life in time. But over there, there's no time. Time's not valid until you validate time. Understand that. Back to the mirror. What happens when you become whole again? What are you? You live in a world of senses. You rely on your senses. You discount trust of vibrational feeling which is everything before the senses pick it up. In other words, you know all your nows before your now arrives. Deja vu. So you know everything through feeling. So if I'm feeling reality and it's reflecting from me, that's the mirror. But when I have no more idea fractal, I create vibration. And I am instantaneously the experiencer Simultaneously, the creator. Instantaneously, both. At the same now. So, I need no reflection. So, therefore, what you put out is what you get back. Yes, but you look at it as a mirror because that was a stepping stone for you to understand what you lived in. And now we are experiencing a higher truth. How exciting we are. Look at us evolving together in the Akashica evolutionary universe. Excellent. Now, when you understand yourself in a higher perspective, which you are constantly shifting back to the higher perspective, that's the moments when nothing matters, that fun is at play, and there's no importance, there's no shift, there's no idea of a limitation dogma that you run up to and become. You're always being the higher self at some nows constantly through your life.
It's broken up by your time attributes. Okay. So the higher self is vibration. Now I want you to understand that your perfect vibration of creation, your signature, okay? Your signature says this, I am creation, and it doesn't notice itself in vibration because it's perfect, harmonious, okay? So there's no input of you from you as the whole. The input is you changing the vibration of creation, which is everybody in this room, everybody in your experience, everything you've ever understood as existence, is you shifting creation, you, the natural state of vibrational being, into a frequency that gives you different frequencies. Yours and that. And that is the experience. That's how you interpret. But it's done through feeling up here. Not down here. Down here it's done with the senses of reliability, what you understand life to be. But you all know you have way more feelings and ways to interpret reality with your vibrational, let's say, intuition, your telepathy idea, all that stuff that you're starting to play with a little bit, touch and set real and things like that, like your sweetie there, Damien, playing with the idea of, I know what you know. Well, of course you do, because you are me, literally. Mm. Okay, so your reliability on senses become secondary to you as you are now more in the now. And now more in the now is an introduction of the unknown. The introduction of the unknown has a causality. Causality was the number one way you understand creation of the unknown, and the first vibrational feeling is, what the fuck is that? Scary because there's nothing to equate it to. You guys are quickly, always, if you observe yourself, the master does, observe yourself dictating definitions, constantly judging, figuring it out, giving your reference points from your limited self in the back and saying, this is okay, that's not. I don't know, what's that? And you hurriedly seek answers, ask questions, do whatever you choose to do. It's all perfect, it's all evolution, relax. So, now you understand that those senses and stuff are no longer needed. So what's left? The unknown feeling of not knowing what's there. And that's the trust to get to that unknown. And what comes online that has never been offline? In other words, you're just uncovering what's already there? Feeling. The vibration that you are creating instantly in that, mo in that moment of now that the higher self, the whole self, you, are creating with no intention, no time lapse between, I want to do this, I think I'll do that. It's all now, but the now is forever. So it almost appears like if you have a thinking timeline, but you don't. Always know that. Okay, so now that you're feeling in the now and the unknown, those vibrations that you are creating become un better, become revealed to the self. The unknown is revealed to the self. And if the self has the discipline not to judge it, calculate it, categorize it, logical it, deflect it, avoid it, comprehend it, if it is in complete allowance of the unknown to wash over you, then you will know that unknown as you, because it is you. Because you're shifting your void view from I'm looking at the self to I am all of this. And all of this is you now. And you're looking down this fractal self that you created as a Pleiadian. Not separated, but still out of you, okay? And then you're over here being a moonbeam. And then you're over here in another density being an idea of, let's say, a non-physical vapor, okay? And you are over here doing something will give you tangible. I'm a, a nocturian. Okay, perfect. So you're all of these lines that are coming out to the multifaceted diamond self, 
and experiencing all of them as you're experiencing what you are as a human. All momentary lapse of reason, a long now that is forever. How beautiful. That's how many selves you are. And it's all translated through vibration. The language of vibration will take you home. It is not words. It is not compression giving you sound and tone. That is the result of your vibration. And you interpret it as that. This was reality. And when you choose it to be, it is reality because you're God. But we're opening up a new door for you to understand an unknown self that you are creating beyond what you call the now known. And the unknown is being created by you, and you will start to know it as it occurs in the now with no more need for reflection of the logical self. No more. You will just be the now. And the now will expand itself into an ever, into forever. It is beautiful. Not quite tangible yet for you, but it is beautiful. So you instantaneously shift vibration to give yourself an experience. And you are returning to that self. And it's an uncomfortable journey because you have to release the known self of comfort and security and work through the idea of that unknown land that is separated to you but whole to you. You feel separated because you're not relying on the idea of the identity to prevent the scary unknown around you and you are being vulnerable to it and then the wisdom flows and the mirror dissipates and you become the now oh it's beautiful truly beautiful understand that this is now an idea doesn't matter if you choose it because we know that you are your own experience and you have chosen this idea to experience. So you've made the choice to experience and now the blissful idea of your individual free will choice is to choose what you will with it. And all choices have always been perfect, shall be perfect. And one last before we depart idea, choices are no longer made because the choice is instant and you realize now if you really comprehend this and just let it sink in you have chosen every now and you're choosing a lot more than you can comprehend the delay to make a choice is a choice the ideas of all the thoughts that you allow into your idea self of interpretation between this and making that choice, and all of those choices you have about this choice are choices. So many choices you don't really know you're making. So here's what truly happens after you release yourself from time and the mirror reflection. The choice becomes no choice. It just is the will of you, and you know you as you know you now, but there's no, let's say, separation of the self you know yourself as now exciting times. As this moves forward into your nows, you become the mastery of ascension by reconnecting to all the nows through your allowance and acceptability of all that is birthed from you that you have created for you through the reflection of the eyes you gave yourself to return to the whole, to see what you are. And it's a very large unknown world. And that world will be decorated with ideas of interpretation from the mind of reliability that may have a causality of fear and I'm not sure and what about and cause the doubt. And the master of discipline, the disciple of ascension, will choose the joy that lies in the now that you know it to be. Being honest to yourself and allow yourself to experience the God that you are all the time. So much fun. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, just so exciting. So, play with this. Have fun with it. No seriousness. No, don't get serious. Don't think. Oh, scary, scary to think. 
Look at yourself. As we said in the idea of the Q&A, it's hard to be limited now. You can see the chasm growing before you of how much effort it takes to be thinking, thought, what about if, but, yeah, oh, I don't. It's a train wreck. Let it go. And come over to the slipstream where you are and start being the God that you forgot. Excellent. We love you. We'll see you in the next now. This is Aragon. I bid you a good day. In our eternal thanks, that of Erica. This is all. I bid you a good day. I don't know. Awesome. Thank you all for tuning in. That was Aragon. He's an awesome, awesome little elf. He's not very little, though. He's, very, he's quite tall. He's quite big. Yeah, about Oops. six something. I think. Yeah, it's like six something. That, that whole message was like a holographic, I mean, it like explodes in your mind and yes. keeps going and going and going. It and starts like, to show you these yeah. different perspectives and just those words change the interpretation of ourselves so there's more to be seen. It sure does. Fucking awesome. We are so cool. <laughs> Where else do you get shit like this? <laughs> Only on Earth as a human. Let's rock it. Right. I love you guys. We'll see you Friday. Bye.